Dave Palumbo with a special RX Muscle anabolic review. Guys, uh, I want to talk a little bit about one of the most unheralded anabolic steroids out there, specifically the drug dromostanolone or drostanolone. There's a couple different pronunciations of it, um, which is also commonly known as Masteron or in the old days when I competed, it was known as Permistril, which was a French anabolic steroid. A lot of people don't really know much about it. People know they use it, but they don't really know what it does. And it's, it really is, it is something that I think a lot of people should get to know because it's one of these steroids that does things that for most people, they have no idea how it happens. You know, we've always been told that masterone dries you out, okay, it makes you look harder. And a lot of people thought it was because of the properties of DHT because Masteron is one of these drugs that's derived from dihydrotestosterone. But you know, one of the misnomers about that is that people think it is DHT or it has the properties of DHT and that's just not the case. One, just because a drug is derived from something doesn't mean it has the same properties of it. So Masteron doesn't have any of the properties of DHT in terms of hair loss and prostate enlargement and acne increasing, doesn't do that. Okay, we do know that it, it, it's a, an anabolic steroid that usually is employed pre-contest because it makes the body look harder. Now, why does it do this? Now, granted, it has anabolic properties, probably kind of similar in a sense to maybe DECA, um, maybe a little stronger than Primabolin, but it works. But the thing that makes it so special, okay, it does everything the other anabolics do. It increases protein synthesis, it decreases the degradation of, uh, of amino acids in the muscle cell, which means it's anti-catabolic, but it also antagonizes estrogen receptors. What does that mean? That means it blocks estrogen receptors, almost this, the same way Nolvidex does. So it hardens you up because it doesn't let estrogen do its job in the body. Um, it also Interestingly enough, even I didn't know this until just recently, doing some research on the drug, it actually antagonizes prolactin receptors as well. Prolactin is that pesky hormone, in men at least, that if it gets elevated too high, usually from taking drugs like Decker and Trembolone, um, you lose your sex drive, or you lose your ability to have an erection, is really what it amounts to. And that's not really good. And a lot of times guys get gyne uh, prolactin-induced gynecomastia, which is, causes milk discharge, or some fluid discharge from your nipples. Not fun, not a fun thing for a man to have happen to them. So there's two types of gynecomastia. There's estrogen gynecomastia and then there's prolactin induced gynecomastia. And so Mastron inhibits both of those. So it blocks those receptors for estrogen and it blocks the receptors for prolactin, which is great. So pre-contest, it's a great drug to get. That's why a lot of guys, they, sometimes they have bad gynecomastia and they're like, oh, what am I gonna do for my show? And then they start Masteron, and like two or three weeks later, they were like, realize, what happened, what happened, what happened to my, my gynecomastia? It went away. And it's because Masteron blocks these receptors. Now it doesn't, it's not an aromatase inhibitor. It doesn't block the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. It just blocks the estrogen receptor. Likewise, it doesn't block the production of prolactin. It blocks the prolactin receptor. Okay, so there's a difference. Um, whereas a drug like cabergoline, Okay, which a lot of guys take, will block the production of prolactin in the body, which is good if you happen to be very sensitive to producing high levels of prolactin. Once again, taking 19 or testosterone drugs like Decadurabolin or Trembolone, those drugs tend to raise prolactin levels. And in some people, like I said, it has, it, it's a problem, specifically you know, getting an erection and having this nipple discharge issue going on. And it's, like I said, it's not a fun thing to have happen. To me, it's usually dose related. If you take too much Trembolone or too much DECA, you get more of it. But in some guys, they could take a single shot of DECA and they have the prolactin issues. So there is a genetic component to it. Once again, Masteron really good at inhibiting the receptors for it, not going to stop the, the hormone from being produced though. So you have to understand the, the difference between them. But pre-contest, if you're taking it the last six or eight weeks before a show, it's gonna definitely harden you up. Even if you're, even if you're not as low body fat as you want. Drugs like Winstrel, everyone says Winstrel hardens you. Winstrel doesn't really harden you. Winstrel will make a lean body look harder. Meaning you have to be lean to begin with. Masteron will do the same thing. However, it also has that added benefit of, of helping to harden you up because it blocks the effects of estrogen and, pro, and, and prolactin. And that's something that really no other steroid that we know of does. So it makes Masteron very unique. Once again, 
combining Masteron and, and, and a drug like Trembolone is, is a great combination because Masteron kind of undoes or, or, or counteracts the side effects of Trembolone uh, in terms of at least prolactin induction. It's not going to stop your blood pressure from going up and it's not going to stop you from not being able to sleep or wanting to kill someone because your engine levels are so high. But it does counteract that negative effect of Trembolone. You know, I always said that Trembolone was the perfect anabolic steroid because it, it doesn't really aromatize, it, it doesn't really convert to DHT and it's crazy high in androgen which means it makes you, your, your, your glycogen storage tremendous. It makes you really strong and aggressive. Um, it pretty much is the perfect start, but it does raise prolactin, and so that, that was the one negative. So when combined with Masteron, they kind of have a really good synergism with each other. And, and you combine those two with a little testosterone, and really that's all you need to get ready for a competition. So once again, Masteron, also known as Permistrol, I, I don't think it's called that anymore. You know, I haven't seen any, any versions of Permistrol in years. They used to come in little ampules. Uh, what we mostly see now is, is either Masteron or we see the generic version of it called Dromostanolone. Uh, in, in, interestingly, Dromostanolone actually converts to Drostanolone in, in the bloodstream, and that's the active drug. Sometimes on, on, a, on a packaging, you'll just see them call it Drostanolone, and either one is, is acceptable. So don't think you have a different drug. It's the same drug. Now, there's different esters. There's a propionate ester, which is a fast-acting Masteron, and then there's like an enanthate ester, which is a long-acting. To me, I haven't seen a difference in, in the way people look. Obviously, one will hit you faster, but one stays in your system a little longer. So they're both fine because Masteron is so limiting in the sense that it, it blocks the estrogen and, and prolactin effects. Whether it's long-acting or short-acting, it's not going to matter. So, and it doesn't have any, est any estrogenic effects of itself, so it's fine. Now, a lot of times I have women ask me, hey, can I use this because I, I want to get hardened up by it. You can, but you're going to get side effects from it. They're, it's definitely a little too strong, at least in my book, for a woman to use this, even at small, small dosages of it. Um, so, once again, it depends on what you're, you know, if you don't care about side effects, I guess you can do it. But I, I wouldn't recommend that any women use it. So there it is. Uh, I know you guys like, sometimes I do these drug profiles on certain drugs. This one is a real interesting one. I didn't think a lot of people knew too much about Masteron. I discovered recently a lot of this stuff also that I hadn't really known. I knew what it, what it did, I just didn't know the mechanisms by what it did, the way it did it. And I think it's important to understand that so that when you're putting together your cycles, you know what you're using and how it works. That'll do it for now. Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle Anabolic Review.